welcome, 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 welcome. Testing, welcome. testing. What's up? What's up? No, no, it's not good. You guys are live right now. Sick. They're sponsoring their people. <laughs> you were already live. <laughs> okay. okay, are you ready? Okay. No. Oh. It's going. <laughs> Let's uh, Sick. transition. Okay, go. All right, today we got Team Still Better Than Charles up against uh, what's the team name of the other team? Team Level B Mean. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Team Level B Mean. Level B Mean. You know what? You can uh, take that up with Siddharth, the team captain, okay, and Blue. Ask him about that after Level B Mean's <laughs> queen. Okay, a three pass to victory in military economic and snail, although the viewers watching probably already know this. And one of the viewers are probably us. Okay, right away we have two picks on some other players. We got some snail action. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, we have... Blue snail takes a... Oh, there we go. All right, blue has the snail. Okay, uh, orange team, gold team scraping up against the top a little bit higher than the blue right. team. Uh, we see, ooh, we see uh, uh, gold team, <laughs> gold team still, still better, better than, than Charles. Charles. Playing a little bit more aggressively, but now playing a little looking more passively, scraping up against the Looking for that snail victory. Okay, All right. gold's riding the snail. Doesn't look like he's going to take it very far. He hops off and hops back on. Oh, looks like uh, still better than Charles putting up some hard defense. And you can definitely see Ooh. the gold team okay. has put in the work with their scraping technique, spamming that button over and over. It's not like, it's like they're not even moving at all. Okay, blue queen takes out a gold team member. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Blue Queen has died only once, actually. Um, so, uh, you start off with you start off with three eggs in the beginning. One cracks, um, and then when you have no eggs, that's when you're when, that's when you're on last. Okay, right. so Blue's at a disadvantage currently. Uh, uh, according to Queen Lives, yes, but you know uh, the Queen is also not on last. You okay. could te technically make another mistake and be fine. Uh, something important to note is that the snail is closer on blue side. Both teams are going for snails since uh, on day map, snail is really the only viable strategy. Oh, wow. I think most people argue on me on that. Snail is the only viable strategy. I think, I think most people agree with me, but there are some crazy people who will say that you can do berries on day. Why is this? Uh, it's just that the way that, you know, the berries are on the top of the hive and there's really only, there's kind of like one way to get in. Uh, that yeah. So it has more to do with the map design. Yes, yes. Um, and also, uh, what's really important is that gold was on last, which or had no warriors, uh, which means that when you have no warriors, technically, so oh, let me like let me blue, blue let me. The last life, right? That is true. So let me rewind a bit, um, because uh, so the the typical setup is either three one or two two, which means three warriors and one snail, or two warriors and uh, two berry runners. Um, so if you have, if your side has no warriors and the other side is running 3-1, that means that there's four military presence, so three warriors plus one queen hunting down the queen, the okay, enemy so queen. Quite an aggressive strategy. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So gold was in a pretty desperate situation earlier and they were able to luckily get out of it. And now they're at the point where they now have three warriors and they're at full They've force. Got a pretty, pretty big lead. Pretty significant Ooh, lead that was good tracking by uh, Blue Skulls. Yeah, the, de the mechanical skill is definitely there with all of these players. They've definitely leveled up over the course of the semester. Oh, yeah. Um, so, so one thing that you'll definitely notice is that since Blue Queen Siddharth is on last, he is he should be playing more conservatively. He is he does have a lot of the, the techniques down, so you'll see him J diving, which is kind of like dropping and hugging that platform. He's not you know he should be letting his warriors do the work at this point. Okay, and we see Gold Queen guarding that. Oh, I didn't know. Yes. Yes. And that's only where there's no wall. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
right right now this game is getting extremely close I, currently. I changed it. I upped all the game though. You can guy. see blue blue queen is playing with quite a defensive strategy. Blue queen on her last life. So we're seeing her play pretty defensively right here. Always maintaining the upper hand on the blue queen. See the matchup between the two queens currently. You can see they're at the same height, so they're just kind of ramming into each other. No progress being made, although some kind of distraction currently. At this point, it's basically who presses the button faster, right? Oh, And since it's this technically their winning strategy, that uh, they wanted to get actually into their own side. Um, but they, they've definitely got a long ways to go. So gold, gold currently is trying to take it to their side, right? Yeah, I think gold wants to maintain their advantage, and since they only have one warrior, also get the other two warriors back. And we have we, we have to see blue playing kind of extremely defensively because this is their last life of their queen, Correct. right? Correct. Oh, so this is this is uh, this is famine. So there's a set number of berries that spawn in the beginning of the game, and when uh, they're the little purple things that are no longer on the map, and when they're all gone, uh, we have this famine timer. Um, so before famine used to be this, you know, crazy crucial thing. Charles actually was on this team that was notorious for getting into famine, and I once recorded a half hour famine. Uh -huh. And uh, half hour famine. yes. Wow. So uh, what's important in the situation is how many warriors does each side have, because bec uh, because that's what can kill the enemy queen. Right, so blue's definitely uh, because of the hitbox advantage. Right? Right? What do you mean by that? Because uh, uh, the queen actually has a higher hitbox with her weapon than the warrior. That's true. So they're both scraping. But at the same time, the queen um, the queen can dive in this game pretty easily. Versus the warriors. And what we sh what we're gonna see is um, eat it. You want you guys want me to eat the microphone? Is that what you're asking me? Right. Hop on, come here, come here. Hop on, come on. I mean, we can share mics. Hi. Like my. It was. Yeah, it was off. Oh, it was up. All right. Um. So blue's doing. So so one thing that we're seeing is like gold is. I think gold hasn't been really aggressive with queen and trying to uh, kill the other warrior. Yeah, or we're seeing help the snail come a little bit further back towards exactly. the, to, to the blue side. Right. Um. And the blue warrior has been doing a really good job uh, keeping that snail clear because otherwise, since there's f uh, four uh, workers, the snail should practically be at a standstill. Uh huh. Um, but it's gotten a lot of progress. It's out of the tunnel. Yeah. Well, we see uh, quite a fiesta down there by the snail. That is true. What uh, the gold queen doesn't want to do is go low. One of the important things in Killer Queen is maintaining, uh, managing your headspace. Um, mm -hmm. And so the queen is quite vulnerable when she's low, right? Yes, yes, okay. that is very true. You, you know, so you kind of don't want to be queen, down for snail. If yeah. we see a queen going low, we know times are tough, right? Times are tough where you got a really bad queen. Either a really bad queen or a really, a really risky queen. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, I prefer my queens not do ris terribly risky things, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, so another thing that I'm seeing right now is that uh, the blue queen is kind of, uh, sh you know, moving the gold queen away from the situation, uh -huh. uh, and you know, I think that allows him to be able to play this now. Also, I didn't, I didn't see, but the blue warrior went down, and that's a. Uh, oh. oh. So uh, the blue uh, blue queen tried to stick. Um, and was facing the wrong way. The gold queen read that move and jade in, and the gold queen. 900 IQ, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Do you want to introduce it? All right. This is Alex. <laughs> um, I have a tendency for your regular worker. Oh, shit. I 
<laughs> Please hold for a second. What uh, the Just a couple of technical difficulties. Esports is hard. We should queue up the Ron intro. It's just this is chaos. Um, okay, let's send it back to them. Bob. Send it back. <laughs> yeah, send it back. Send it back. Next game. <laughs> Next game. <laughs> that was that was actually one of the most moving okay, interviews I've ever seen in my entire commentating like career. Four seconds long. What are we gonna do for like, for like thirty seconds? I don't know. The intro clips are like four seconds. Yeah, but that's why I said don't do the intro clips. Oh, okay. Just bring in one. That, if you hover over, it'll tell you. Right, right, right. Like some of them are like <coughs> 30, 40 seconds. <laughs> let's maybe do. Let's do a Ron and Sidharth opposing. Um. So I don't think this has been introduced. I think are we just gonna go to the next game? I was about to say I don't think it's been introduced on stream. What kind of what we're doing? And now would be uh, an okay time to do it. It really hasn't. So uh, to any viewers who are like, this commentator sucks, uh, you're right. Uh, I don't have any, anything else to say about that. My commentary isn't high, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> All right, um, so this is Dusk Map. Uh, Dusk Map is actually one of the more, uh, is the most recent map. Uh, Night and Day came out first, and then Dusk came out about uh, okay. a year, well, more than a year afterwards. Um, it, I I don't remember if it was a Bombash one. Anyway, we've had Dusk for a while. And so the important thing about Dusk is that uh, you have, compared to Day, we have a lot more space above the snail. Oh, and uh, berries are really viable, or actually viable. Um, actually, berries are viable on every night except for Day. So does that encourage a lot more fighting down by the snail because of the addition of room down there? Yes. Uh, my team, my most recent team was literally called Tangle in the Tunnel because I had a teammate who loved being down there in that kind of like tunnel space and literally just fighting it out. Uh, and an important thing about this map is that, uh, see those top five berries can only be reached from chopping from above and falling down. Okay. Um, so, so, so that encourages some degree of risky play. That, that end, um, you know, you're not really winning on berries until that, those top five berries come full. Like once, if, if the enemy team has all those five top berries in, it's an emergency situation and you need to have two ledge guards and, you know, increase okay. your defense against the... So if they, have, if they have those five berries in, then what's the win condition that we're looking for? Berries. So berries. Th right now there's only one more berry left. Um, it is, you know, I don't see blue really in position to guard uh, an incoming runner. So we have one runner coming from the top. Uh, blue stripes is, you know, was, oh, play, was playing that really risky. Ball all the way down, right. but picked up by... What, what, what is that called? Warrior? No. Which one? The, 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 no, the, the little guy carrying the berry. Uh, a worker. <laughs> worker, worker. That's what I'm trying to say. There's a, a mixture of bee and uh, bear metaphors. Oh, okay, we call okay. them bee bears um, or workers. All right. Uh, so another thing that we're seeing is that it's gold is actually pulling back the snail. So something, a huge, you know, pain point about this game is that you can, uh, when you put berries in, you can't take them out, but you can always ride snail back. Uh-huh. So, so that's, that's a that's win condition that you can kind of reverse, whereas yes. the berries, it's, once it's in, it's yes. in. Yes, yes. Um, and so another thing that we're seeing is that we're seeing, uh, there's three warriors kind of hovering over the hive. Uh, and so that means that there's no warriors to help the snail, and so the snail has literally just gone back to snail. I see, so we're kind of ignoring the snail, uh, and we have a warrior, a gold warrior down there just kind of guarding it any time. And see, so he just swooped down and yeah. killed the snail. So that, that's, his, that's his job right now. Correct. Just guarding the snail. Yes. And, you know, he's, he's, he is being used to even though he's, you know, Yeah, so do you think that that team is at a disadvantage because that's what their warrior is doing? Or do you think they, having him there guarding the snail is beneficial at all costs? Um, I wouldn't say they're at a disadvantage because they have someone there. Like, you should have someone making sure that the, the, the enemy snail doesn't uh, go forward. All right, so... Uh, okay, cut to a clip of our, of our queens now. Uh, both incredible queens that Ron we and, uh, like a lot Sarah's? who are... Initially, like, as queen... Like, on my first class, I didn't want to be queen, simply because if you die three times as a queen, you lose. And I didn't want to let down people I just met. And as soon as I got to know them, I was like, hey, you know what? If you lose because of me, well, shit. It's okay. I played a bit of Killer Kill Queen before the class, and I played objective. And objective is fun. So I kind of like, you get to do your thing. Um, but I, I, I really, I don't know, I really wanted to take on the role, the, the leadership role, like of the person who's like, um, kind of has to keep the team together. 
So I just really want to take on a challenge. So I was like, okay, great. And I kind of figured that I should start doing that early. All right. Is that Good both, to go? Both are okay, as soon as uh, go. Okay. All right. All right. So we're going to game three. Game three. Uh, I believe that you're doing a classic rotation of uh, day, night, dusk. Or sorry. Uh, so they have to play all three maps, and they already done day. They already have done dusk. So, so you have okay. So it's a, it's a tournament rule. You need to play off every. Yes. Game. Yes. Is there a distinct like advantage to each map, like in terms of strategies? Like you typically see something on depends, some map. Depends on your team. Uh, well, I mean, some teams. So so I think a good example is uh, uh, some teams for berry, some teams for snail. I the favorite thing that Charles likes to say is uh, Knight favors the more experienced team. And it's really just what, you know, ha has your team practiced this map a lot um, and, you know, making having a strategy that works for you. All right, so I think we're seeing both teams go berries. A lot of, a lot of bumping with the queens right now. They're that is kind correct. of in a stalemate there. That is correct. Um, so, you know, the important thing here is berry count, right? We're seeing, we see four berries on, uh, in for blue yep. and only three berries in for gold. Okay. Uh, and so what you, know, you also should be seeing is a military presence coming to try to get rid of that ledge guard. Right, trying to play defense. Or anti, anti defense. Correct. Like, so, so you see there's a blue warrior trying to kill the gold warrior in his own. Right, yeah, yeah. And you see he's trying uh, to clear him out, but it's once right. you're in there, it's kind of hard to get him out, especially on this map because you got the ceiling right above. Great, and I, I think ideally you see the, the other map dust, dust, where you can just kind of descend on it from anywhere. Your defense is a much stronger option. Uh, yeah. As opposed to that map, I guess. It's. I mean, it's. Hmm. There's a lot of different things you can do, and it also depends on you know who's coming in because the queen, if it's if it's just a warrior and a queen, the queen should pretty be should be able to easily kill the, the warrior. Um, whereas you know if it's, it's, it gets a little bit trickier if you have like a really good ledge guard. Mm -hmm. uh, like we've had we've had some really amazing ledge guards who uh, won't die no matter who comes no matter to try what. to kill them, and they'll also do their job at the same time. Hall of Famers. Yeah, yeah. If they, I mean, I wish they kept being Hall of Famers. But. All right, and so another thing is that I think Gold recognized really early on that they were behind on berries, and so they decided to switch to snail. Mm -hmm. um, it is, it, it splits, so we call it split, split striding, and split yeah. strat is um, not exactly the most viable of strats, but, you know, I think my team has been able to make it work. Um, and I think Gold team did a pretty good job. Like, they got snail to the point to the waterfall, which is considered dangerous territory. And, that's, and so, as we're, you know, Blue responded and... and Right it looks like Blue's kind of running away with this one, though. I mean, they've got pretty much all the map controlled in terms of gates. They you do not have warriors. Two though. down. That's true, actually. That's very true. If Gold was a little bit more vigilant and not, you know, kind of fussing around the hive, they could easily shut out Blue and not let any Blue warriors come out. It, it seems like that's what we're seeing, actually. I mean, who needs the gates when they can't even get there? Oh, but we've got one blue chaining to speed now. I think they're using. I think they're using this time to, to try to get speeds because they do have all of both speed gates. Right. Which is really powerful. Oh, oh, and that last berry goes in. And that's it. Game number three goes to blue. That's their, their, their first, first game. Their first victory in the si in the series here. Uh, we're going to cut now to a clip of uh, rivalry uh, between uh, the two speed warriors on each team. Go ahead and uh, take a look. But definitely Turner 2, mostly because we play the same role. So I naturally want to be better at it than he is, which I am. So it's a given, but... I personally feel like I don't have any rivalries on the team. Uh, however, uh, I, so I know Alex is an extremely good speed warrior, like way better than me. And so I personally view it as a more personal rivalry to like be better than her, beat her, because I know if I beat her, then I'm a good speed warrior. Uh, and I know personally, as a speed warrior, I like fighting a lot, like too much. In fact, it's a detriment to my team. And I like fighting, uh, usually if Ron's on the other team, I like fighting him, but I also like fighting Siddharth. I find that really funny. Uh, and then Justin, who's not in the class, but is still on that, uh, was on that team. Um, I have a, a real um, uh, grudge against him just because, uh, oh, it's Justin. I mean, you, Justin, if you're watching this, I, I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, back we're off. Back to the game. All right, so now we're, we're on to game four. Into game four. Yeah. So I believe they're doing losers picks uh, the map. Um, okay. So that means that the blue team. But they, we've done a full rotation now. Yes, right? and so, so we can pick we, any map. It's fully reset, so they could have chosen any of them. Yes. 
So now we're back to dust. So I, th I believe last time uh, blue did uh, snail while gold did berries. And okay. I think we're seeing the same thing again. Yeah, I think we're seeing the same oh, thing no. again, right? Oh, no. Blue's going berries. There you go. So Interesting. Okay, but they've the gold has seen that now. Correct. Let's see if they adapt accordingly. I mean, they do. There's a ledge guard sitting right, yeah, uh, there you right go. there. Oh, and he dies immediately. Oh, wow. boy. Um, so some interesting, so some important markers to note uh, is that uh, in the very beginning, you uh, the runners don't have any pressure. They should be able to get two top berries in, and blue didn't do that. Uh -huh. And so as a result, um, they keep missing top berries, and so they have three bottom berries. Whereas gold, you know, they took the time to, to you know get those berries in, so they only have one more top berry. Left. Right. And I th so because of that, I would say that gold's in uh, the best much, situation. Much stronger position. Yes. It certainly seems that way. So the next thing to note is that gold doesn't have any warriors, and so that means that they can't let guard oh. And so that means that blue should be able to get all of their berries in. I mean, they're pretty much neck and neck on the econ race here. Um, can I count? Yeah, it's the same. Three berries left versus they're, they're, three berries left. I mean, they're really yeah. neck and neck coming in at the same time there. Okay, gold's a little bit faster down. And yeah, they only need uh, one bottom berry and one top berry. I think we saw a kick in. There you go. It certainly that feels like it's coming down to berries this game. One more berry left. I think gold is coming up. And but gold gets it. not any warriors. Now, blue didn't have any warriors towards that end right. section there. There was gold no way they were going to be able to shut them out. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> gonna cut to a clip. I mean, like, ob like objectively, some players on their team are better than some players on mine. But I feel like our team, as a whole, like, we're, like we're structured around having fun. Like, ultimately, we don't really care about kill a queen. Like, playing it comparatively, like we're just there to have fun. Like, and even at coronation, our team name was still better than Charles. And like on our IDs, we all had like goofy pictures. Like Sean had. A picture of him holding two Wii's on his ears. Mine was a picture of me from like six years ago with a, like asleep with a fake mustache drawn on me. Like, as a team, we're more focused on just having fun instead of like particular like winning. So I feel like if and like if, even if we were able to switch one person out, the, like the dynamic wouldn't be the same because like John and Alex are like really 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 good, but also like we we just like to mess around. And like have a good time ultimately. I think definitely on our team, um, I feel like we're all sort of more reserved naturally, all of us, our personalities. And so we kind of tend to like zone into our own roles when we're playing. So for me, it'd be like communicating with my team and being like, how's it going? Like, what's happening? It's like getting more of the communication flow all the time. That's how it is. So I feel. Okay, we're good. Go. Ahead. Go. All right, so this is the best of seven match, and we're going to go on to game five. Yeah. All right, so we're back on night, which is the one map we've won on so far. It was a really interesting true. match last time, where uh, Gold at the end just barely failed to defend the blue hive. Is, Correct. Blue team went for an economic victory. We'll see how it plays out this time, though. So it looks like a uh, so Gold switched to Snail in the beginning or er, in very early on, um, and it looks like he decided to just start with Snail. Uh, blue is you know you know pushing berries. They have three berries in. That's a pretty normal start. I think Stripes missed a kill there. He should have been a little higher. It's interesting that Blue's established some serious gate control over the Warrior Gate. They've got all three currently as Snail inches closer and closer to their That goal. is very powerful. And considering Gold only has one Warrior that can safely stop it, it's uh, looking like Snail might actually be a victory condition here. Yeah, Blue's, Blue's switched really early on. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I think both teams have kind of been split striding. Um, and, you know, I think they've both kind of taken advantage of times when the other team isn't really paying attention, and that's why, you know, they were like... Either side of the let's get away with Snail. Oh, a lot of test right by the Snail just there. Who's got plenty of warriors defending, trying to make sure this ends in a big Ooh, ooh. Oh, that was very close. Um, so, let's see. So, Ron's going to actually go down to last. Uh, he's in a pretty bad position. Uh, both sides have three berries in. And Siddharth capitalizes and uh, takes the game. That was very quick. All right, we're going to go straight on to the next game. Seems we don't have any more clips. Where do you think Gold will choose to go? Oh, I didn't I didn't actually get a good synopsis. So so these clips um 
I don't think we, we fully explained what's going on. So you guys took videos of, you know, kind of their experience of, of playing and, you know, going through this process. Right. And that's what, kind of what we're seeing. Is that correct? Yes, blue one. Yes. Um, so, we, you know, we talked about various things. Uh, the Speed Warriors experience, uh, playing as a team. Because they've, they've solidified these teams, you know, partway through. And it's definitely a different experience to play with a team versus um, so now we're on today. I believe uh, since Ron's team lost, that they went on today. Uh, important to note is that uh, Gold has only one warrior. Um, technically, and also that uh, warrior's in the tunnel. So because so the tunnel is a very interesting position in that, uh, technically speaking, you should be able to you should, you should you should die if you go down to the tunnel alone by yourself. But Blue's not really capitalizing on that. Instead, Blue Stripes is gonna die. Um, and blues down to uh, two warriors, one warrior now. Those teams first. are putting extreme effort in fighting for these warrior gates. Yes. The roll keeps swapping back and forth, but it seems like blues established it for now. Ooh. Oh, so that might not matter. The snail's inching closer and closer with two warriors and a queen protecting it. All right, so um, I don't I don't know if they're that if they're quite there yet, but kind of what we're seeing is this triangular formation above this nail on gold, and I think most people would call that a fortress, and that should help you protect your objective that's underneath. And gold is able to move their snail consistently. Um, Sidar's in a pretty low position. Uh, he just got oh my god, got out of it. Oh oh my oh, god, no. that was savage. All right, queen lives are tied up. Remaining on each side. Uh, they own, they're down one. Yeah. Um, yeah, so gold only has one warrior. Uh, if we if we see good play by blue, they should be able to take out that gold warrior. Um, I think that gold warrior is going to take out everyone on blue then. Oh, no. Oh, boy. All right, so Siddharth is now on last. Um, he is, you know, he's going to have a speed warrior come up. Um, he does have two warriors. They both go down. Uh, Sidar's in trouble. He's got to play. He has to the same, play really careful and at the same time make risky plays because Gold should be hunting him and trying to, you know, kill him. Instead, he's gonna get his rest of his warriors out. Very interesting. Oh no! Oh my god! Looking like Gold maintaining the fortress rather well. That is true. That is true. Blue can't really quite get in and, and stop the snail um, without risking things, and one goes down. Ooh, oh no, Blue's down, now down to one warrior. They do have the other gates though, so they should be able to come up fairly, fairly quickly. Oh my god, the dark is very low. I don't know how he hasn't been caught yet. He's gonna get out. Um, I think Gold Queen is technically... Oh no, she's fine. Um, if I were Blue, I would actually be trying to push... Uh, I, th I think they had enough resources to try to slow down Gold coming out with more warriors. They didn't. Definitely. Oh well. Ooh. Oh no. Another thing that we're seeing is that the two blue warriors are literally on top of each other. Um, and, and, you know, you only have a set number of resources. Oh no. Uh, putting all your eggs in one basket. Exactly. So they really should be spreading out. And that was also a very low position. Um, I mentioned earlier, but, you know, headspace is a really important uh, resource in, in the game. And, oh, uh, everyone needs to manage it well. And so just try not to be below. Very true. So I think so. What we're seeing is that Blue is getting their warriors back out, and since Gold is kind of more focused on pushing the snail, uh, they were able to get you know get everyone out. All right. All right, and Gold takes the set. Right, we're about to play a clip of Justin and Alex. Yeah. I think the biggest issue, like biggest difficulties playing flex, is that especially since we're new, we need to be adaptable to all roles. Um, but it's the game changes. I kind of want to see what the experience would be like if I were playing on the same team as Ron, but at the same time, I wouldn't give up the experience of killing him. 
So. Um, okay, what do we do now? Oh, well, it's completed. It's done. Yeah. Um, I think we're just done. Yeah. What time is it? It's 45. So I think we're done here. Um, so I guess still better than Charles is better than level B meme. Seems that way. Uh, this was the uh, the final set to kind of you know see who's uh, on top and you know I guess I guess we have our answer. Yeah, with some fascinating games, especially at the start, it's just I'm barely sure. winning a uh, gold Terry victory and then a dominant performance. That is true. Dominant victory game two. Uh, what did you take away from that set? I mean, Blue fought hard. I think um, I think one of the reasons why Blue was able to win on Knight is like, you know, I mentioned earlier that Knight favors the more experienced team, and I think in this case it actually favored the more experienced Queen, and I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure Siddharth has a lot more accurate movements. I know, like, one thing that Charles does a lot is that his tap is stronger, um, and he was able to, you know, use that to his advantage and move, maneuver around Knight. Uh, Knight is a very, very tight map. Uh, there's a lot of map that, uh, the map that actually isn't being used, and so I think as a more experienced queen, he's able to move around it and you know just kill warriors off more efficiently. I think what we're seeing now is a little bit of a team mix-up. No? Oh no, I think we're switching cabs. There you go. I think they want a rematch. We could do we could do double limb and you know whoever loses twice. Um, yeah. So. Oh, friendly is just for fun. All right. Um, thanks to the two people that were streaming, even though you know one person probably was on their phone. Uh, and I hope that the the, the team who watched this video learned something. <laughs> I hope they can all continue playing. We're ending the stream now. If you're watching, I'm sorry. Bye.